Sure, sure, they'll, they'll be polite and they'll make all the right sounds. But I know what they're going to be saying about me behind my back. Hey, did you hear Ethan Crane jilted Gwen Hotchkiss for the housekeeper's daughter? I mean, I could maybe handle it if you'd left me for, for a movie star or European royalty. But to leave me for the family housekeeper's daughter, I mean, how could he do that to me? Gwen, look, you gotta get a hold of yourself, all right? Don't let Ethan's parents see you this way. You're right. I, I need to get out of here. I'll come with you. No, Mother, I, I really want to be alone. It's not over yet. I promise you. You will be Mrs. Ethan Crane. I said let go of me, Julia! Not until you tell me what could be more important than getting Teresa out of the picture and Ethan and Gwen back together again before Father arrives. You don't need me for that, Julian. You and your father are masters at decimating relationships. Perhaps you should just hire a Teresa imposter like you hired the Louise imposter to lie to Sheridan about using her, thus ruining any chance of happiness she may have ever had with Louise. You could be on to something. <sighs> and if I were you, I wouldn't be so smug about my secrets when the nasty ones that you and your father have hatched are bound to come out so. Cranes have used and abused my family for years. Now I finally got a chance to use one of them. A spoiled princess, Sheridan. How can I be so drawn to a man who won't even admit to what he said about me? I can't be with another man I don't trust. I, I just can't. Whitney an email. Tell her I'm sorry for everything. Sorry, Mama. I hope you understand why I had to leave. So I guess that you're leaving more behind than just that loser of a guy. My family. You sure you thought this trip all the way through? No. No, but I, I can't stay in harmony. That's the one thing I know for sure. Your family doesn't know that you're leaving, do they? No. I left my mother a note. She'll find it when she wakes up in the morning. And you'll be halfway around the world by then. I just hated that Teresa went to bed thinking that I'm still going to marry Gwen. You can speak with her first thing in the morning, Ethan. Is that the real reason you don't want to wake her up? Or are you still hoping that I'll change my mind? I know you're in the same camp as my family, thinking that I should marry Gwen. Oh, yes, it's true. Until recently, I thought that would be best. Certainly would make your life easier in the long run. But I'm the last person to tell you not to follow your heart. In fact, I... I think it's a very courageous thing to go against your family's wishes because you think it's the right thing to do. Though I'm not surprised considering who your father My father? Well, since when did you respect him and his values? Julian is a very complicated man. I'm surprised that you feel that way, Pilar. Will you please let me wake up Teresa? I only need five minutes to tell her that I'm calling off the wedding and then I love her. All right. Perhaps she'll rest easier once she knows the truth. I'll go get her.
She's not in her bed. She's gone. Pat said that I should trust Louise. I would give anything to believe her. I know what I saw and I know what I heard. So why is it breaking my heart not to be with him? Maybe some tea will help me sleep. Camera. My wife's never gonna believe I got a glimpse of Alistair Crane. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be, my dear. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. You're crying. No, 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 I'm not. I just, excuse me, I, I have to catch a flight. Is there something I can do? There's nothing worse than a beautiful young woman in distress. Thank you, sir, but no. Was it a young man, perhaps? Really? I'd rather not talk about it. Of course, I'm a stranger. But I do understand affairs of the heart can be very disappointing. I thought he loved me. I thought we'd get married someday. Trust a fellow who's been around quite a bit longer than you have. There are many other young men who will love you better than the young cad who's broken your heart. Thank you, sir. I will try to remember that. Do. And good luck to you, my dear. The car's waiting outside, Mr. Craig. Time to learn whether my grandson has come to his senses and decided to go through with the merger tomorrow. You mean the wedding, Mr. Crum? Merger, wedding, wedding, merger, it's all the same thing. The future of Crane Industries depends upon Ethid's marriage to Gwen Hotchkiss. If need be, I'll hold a shotgun to my grandson's head to make sure this wedding takes place tomorrow. She is not in the house or the backyard. But it's so late. Maybe she went to the mansion. No, no, not the way she felt about you when she went to bed. Oh, my God, where could she be? Well, uh, what about Whitney's? She left a note. Thank God. I wouldn't be so sure. Dear Mom, I'm so sorry I have to... I have to do this, but I have no choice. I have to leave Harmony for a while. I know this will be hard for you, but I don't want anyone to look for me. Especially Ethan. I don't understand that. I mean, where could she go? I mean, where could she get the money to go somewhere? Rebecca Hotchkiss. What are you talking about? She told me Rebecca Hotchkiss offered her a ticket, an airline ticket, anywhere in the world. And she advised her to use it so she would not have to witness your marriage to Gwen tomorrow. No, I swear, I could wring that woman's neck with my bare hands. That's not going to get my daughter back. Well, maybe I can catch her at the airport. I'll go. 